Oh, oh, brothers and sisters, I'm really on a video roll. So before going further, brother, oh, before going further, brothers and sisters, this is a continuation video, really. Um, hi guys, my name is Sister Carrie Ann. Uh, before, you, please remember to click the notification button. Don't just click it and walk away. When you click it, please remember to click all. Because if you don't click all, you're not gonna get some of my videos because you you is heavily shadow shadow banning this channel. Keep this channel in prayer. And also the scammers are back. They are back, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. Whenever I make a comment, sister Carrie Ann, my name, my name is in solid gray border. Always remember that. If it's not in solid gray border and people are pretending to be me, you need to report them and rebuke them. Okay. So this is just a continuation video, brothers and sisters. I might call this, um, I don't know, part two or something like that. Now, I, would, I just did a video and we're talking about Tom Hardy um, telling us that we're going to go to the wilderness very soon. It's up on us. Yeah, it's coming to take the Hebrew Israelites from this wicked dispensation. But then I started to talk about... Um, that the Antichrist has to be in place, really, before the second exodus can happen. Because the Bible says that the dragon spit water after the woman, all right? But the earth helped the woman. And then when the dragon see that the woman fled into the wilderness, couldn't catch the woman, he turned his attention to the remnant of the woman, which are those who did not make it into the wilderness. Basically, that's who they are, all right? Now... We talked about a little bit about Joe Biden because it's very strong in my spirit, very, very strong in my spirit that Joe Biden is going to be poorly. Yeah. And it's not that I'm putting sickness on anybody, but it's just what I see in the room of the spirit. I've been talking about this for months, even during the election. The Lord showed me Joe Biden becoming sick, a little bit senile, a.k.a. dementia, sort dot cognitive cognitive type of sickness all right may it may have something else but that's what i saw all right so we're saying that oh well you know if joe biden leave then kamala harris takes over because that's the that's the institution that is how they set the thing that is their law but then i said i can see a way how donald trump will try to come back what i'm seeing in my spirit this is just me. I'm not, I'm not saying that this is the Lord. Because I am entitled to my own opinion, just like Paul. Paul put his own opinion in the Bible. When it's his opinion, he'll say, this is I and not the Lord. So I'm saying, this is me and not the Lord. All right? So this is what I, Karen, did to think. This is not thus said the Lord. So don't be coming on this channel and say, oh, Karen, you said God said, no, don't lie. You're going to go to hell. This is me. This is my opinion. This is what I think. All right? So, I believe that when Biden is taken out the way, they're going to try to install Kamala and it's not going to work. Because, yeah, they're not ready for a female, not to mention a black, black female. They're, they're, just, they're not ready for that yet. I don't know why. All right. Um, so, there's going to be some form of... yeah. That, stoppage i think this is just me you know if she gets installed it's not god said this is just me all right so i feel like they're gonna try to stop that installation that sworn in business and in the meantime while they're kicking up chaos i think that because donald trump voice is still that strong isn't it he is isn't it yeah he's still got a voice in america he's got how many people following him uh, and listening to him. So I think that because his voice is so strong, America is going to be in a little bit of chaos, then it's going to seem like he's the president because he's going to step forth for a little while. He's not going to be sworn in or anything like that because they're going to take him out. Sorry, I have to tell you what, how it is. But I had a vision. Donald Trump assassinated it didn't say president donald trump it just said donald trump so that is how i can see donald trump trying to come back because he's now gonna kind of take over to try to get america back but it's not official 
he's not been soaring in or anything like that. So it's going to look like he, you know, he's running things for a little while. But then the kingdom is going to be given to Barack Obama because they're going to, well, sort it out, so to speak, and give the kingdom to Barack. So that's how I believe how Obama will have a third, third, a third term. That is how he's going to have a third, a third term, brothers and sisters. Because the kingdom is going to be given to him through what? Through the Democrats and the Republicans. Because although Donald Trump has a lot of supporters in the United States of America, it's not enough. It's not enough to give him the kingdom. And he's, he's not the Antichrist. He's not the biblical Antichrist. So that is how I see it playing out. I think that they're going to try to give Kamala, sorry, they're going to try to give Kamala the presidency. They're going to try it, but it's not going to work for some reason. Because I, I personally cannot see Kamala becoming president, but if it happens, it happens. If it happens, then yeah, it happens. But from where I'm standing now, I, I can't see it. Like I said, they're going to try. They're going to try to do it. They're going to try, but it's going to be so much upheaval that, like I said, and I'm repeating myself, this is why they're saying that Donald Trump is coming back. It's going to seem like Trump is running things for just a short minute, but they're going to take him out. Mm -hmm. They're going to take him out. And then they're going to give the kingdom to Obama. And then Obama... Barack Obama will become the one world leader. He's going to control everything. Some people say, you know, Obama is coming back through the UN. It's a possibility. Weighing up all the options. We don't know exactly how he's coming back, but we know he's coming back. And people have many, 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 many theories. But that is how I see it. That is how I see it. If it happens in a different way, then fine. But the bottom line is Obama, Obama is coming back. He's going to have a third term. That's the Antichrist. So when you see Obama comes back on the scene and it's going to be official, they're going to say, you know, he's the, I don't know how they're going to call it, interim president or whatever, because he's going to continue, isn't it? Continue 42 months. Then you can rest assured that the angels of Yah can come any moment for you and i will be on youtube to tooting that i will be on youtube telling my brothers and sisters barack is in power now prepare for the angels mm -hmm. prepare for the angels that's all i'm going to talk about it, it, nothing else is worth talking about because that's it our time our time israel time in this dispensation is done it's done. We're going. We're going back to where, where it all begins. The Lord is regathering his people, his bloodline. So, yes, brothers and sisters. So, that is how I see that one playing out. But the visions that I get is true. They will, they will take Trump out. They will. 100%. They will. Because I saw it in the vision. It didn't say President Donald Trump. It never said that. It just said Donald Trump. Donald Trump have been. Yeah. That's what the vision says. And the vision is true. Mm. The vision is true, brothers and sisters. So we have to always be on the lookout. No, sometimes prophecies, sometimes when I deliver prophecies, <laughs> brothers and sisters, it's not easy. I'm telling you, you've got the, you have to have this level of confidence and boldness and courage <laughs> inside that only comes through the Holy Spirit. Only comes through the power of the Holy Spirit, brothers and sisters, um, that you can talk these things. Okay, that you can talk these things. 
So the Lord is working. He's working things out. We're, we don't have much time. The second exodus is going to happen. No, some of you are going to say, Sister Carrie, what about the rapture? I've dealt with that before. Exodus first. The second exodus before. I know some people don't believe in the rapture. I know I've got few brothers and sisters, Hebrew, Israelite, comes on the channel and says, Sister Carrie, we don't believe in the second, um, in the rapture. They said, the rapture is a true. Don't believe in it. Well, I have to believe in um, in St. Matthew 24. And that's where I get it. That's where I get um, the second, well, the return of the Messiah. But before he returns, Yah is going to gather the true biblical Israel that's been hidden all over the world. He's going to do it. It has to happen first. And then you can think about your rapture. All right. Um, so, right, brothers and sisters, be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with Yah, just like Enoch. All praises, all beautiful praises to the most high Yah who lives above the heavens. Yah, eternal bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon, someday in glory. In Jesus Christ's precious holy name, amen and amen. Let us say the benediction together. Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory, with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.